index to see what dollar index is likely to do for the week and probably use that as an indicator to analyze um, other currency pairs. So firstly, let's look at our um, weekly time frame. So now looking at weekly time frame and you would see that um, we actually strongly bullish on dollar index. So since last week I've been telling you guys that we're expecting dollar index to come back to somewhere around this region to clear out this uh, liquidity. So now we are looking at dollar index coming back around 96.950 somewhere around that region to clear out the liquidity around that uh, region. So now you see how last week it was very bullish and this week also is some kind of pushing higher already yesterday. So let's look at daily time frame. So now looking at daily time frame now. Yesterday um I was actually anticipating um yesterday's candle to actually kind of push lower, probably taking out this low, then before pushing higher. On Friday or during the cost of morning shower, I said that I was expecting dollar index to sell to somewhere around this region. So it sold but never got to somewhere around this region. So, but the reason why I I was skeptical about this analysis yesterday was because I was seeing a swing low here. We have a swing low here. So basically, if we have a swing low here, then definitely the market should continue going higher. So I was seeing this, so I was a bit skeptical about what the market is up to. So later on, the market never came lower at all. It just continued pushing higher all throughout the whole thing. So we had it yesterday close bullish, coming back to reject. So. This, is, this candle has a lot to say, despite it's on Monday, this candle has a lot to say. Took out liquidity, came back to close somewhere around that region. So now, um, looking at fundamentals and others, we are expecting the like this to be bullish, but um, looking at a scenario where we should have some kind of corrective move before we continue pushing higher. Look at this scenario where we should have some kind of corrective move for continuing. So over over the time, I've seen this kind of setup over and over again. The market will just continue pushing higher to clear this liquidity somewhere around this region. So, but let's look at four hours and one hour time frame. Okay. So now looking at this now. You see that uh, immediately this um, liquidity was taken out on four hours here. Yeah. Immediately they took out liquidity here. Yeah. They immediately did what dropped. They dropped, coming back to close below. So now I'm um, not seeing anything yet that is going to make dollar index to sell on this region. I'm not seeing anything making dollar index to sell. So, but if you come back to if you come down to one hour time frame, is it one hour? No, it's actually thirty minutes. So coming back to 30 minutes now, so I feel that since uh, this market just continue rallying up, then leaving this liquidity here, I feel this push to this upside yesterday was actually to increase the high of the uh, this thing, the high of the week. I felt this this was to create the high of the week. So I'm thinking that this high that was created yesterday was actually high of the week. So I'm taking this to be the high of the week. So looking at this now, if you come down to lower time frame, you see that we have a break of structure to the downside yesterday. So now I'm looking at a scenario whereby this uh, particular region here, this particular region here should hold price. I'm looking at a scenario where this place should hold price. I want to see price reject here. I want to see price reject here. So I'm 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 actually anticipating this to hold price. I'm expecting the line there to do what to drop. If not, at, if not even drop into um, this region, but I just want it to drop. But basically, I'm looking at it. Still, I'm very, very much optimistic. Looking at a scenario whereby market should come back and clear that. Um, I want to see market coming back to clear this liquidity. Then I think that will give me more of confidence to go bullish on dollar index. Yeah, it's actually bullish on higher time frame, but I want to see that corrective move. I want to see that corrective move. Coming back to take out this liquidity, then thereby gaining that bullish pressure somewhere around this region, gaining that bullish pressure somewhere around this region. So, but this is not actually a very high probability setup. Going to the fact that we already know that higher time frame is bullish. So, but this is basically what 
I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking out for on dollar index. This is what I'm looking out for on dollar index. So we'll be looking at to see how this reacts at this region. So now, having understood what we are looking out for on dollar index, so let's look at GBP USD and Euro USD. So coming to GBP USD. So let's go back to um, daily time frame. So you know, I already told you guys when GPS, I told you guys it's a free fall. I'm expecting GPS to fall to around 1.33,000. So as you guys can see, we're just a few pips away from the air. So now, um, looking at this now, so you see this market has been falling since last week all throughout consecutively. So now, at the point where they left here, so I've been expecting GPS to some kind of, I was expecting GPS on Friday, this was on Friday's candle. I was expecting GPS to do some kind of corrective move into this region then probably continue dropping but unfortunately friday keep on dropping 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 remember i told you guys i was setting gps to be bullish on friday then uh, on monday being yesterday again i anticipated this region here to hold this gbp usd so i anticipated gp usd to be held here to probably come back to retest this level here then before we continue the free fall so what you can see it fell it, it fell woefully yesterday so now, um, what am I looking at for today? So let's look at, um, let's look at, so you know, uh, we are looking at a region where we are looking at a possibility whereby, um, what is it called? Whereby the line desk could push higher, right? So now we already have another block here on four hours. Market is already respecting it. So I'm expecting GPS to push higher. So I'm looking at a spin area whereby GPS will push higher from this level here. So I'm expecting this to hold price, just like you see it's already holding price. So I'm expecting GPS to hold, to push higher, back to somewhere around this region. I want to see this liquidity being taken. I think it's more clear on one hour time frame. So this is basically what I'm looking at for GPS on one hour time frame. So I I basically wanted um, the, um, this thing, GPS to come back around 1.34550. That is where I've set my limit order, 1.34550. So if it can come back to 1.45.50, that is where I'll be engaging on this trade. Reasons to that is that I want this fair value gap to be filled up then. Probably I think this um, other block was picked on 30 minutes. Yeah, it was picked on 30 minutes. So I want price to do what? Trade back into this region. I want price to trade back into this region. That's about 20 pips from current market price. So I want price to trade back into the region, then give me a what? A bullish entry. So if you see that is a very, very good risk to reward. I think this is 15 pips stop loss. So now if I can get an entry somewhere around that region, I'll be looking at price coming back to take out the liquidity here. Then probably looking for a short position somewhere around this region. So this is basically what I'm looking out for on GBP USD. So let's look at um, Euro USD also. Okay. So you guys could see. So let's look at um, daily time frame. So Euro USD has been compressing, it has been compressing. So I told you guys, Euro USD is on a bearish trend. When it was here, I gave you guys a short analysis. Told you guys expecting Euro USD to drop hopefully to clear out this low. Yeah, for sure. So now I'm anticipating Euro USD to pick up a buy entry, coming back to do what? Fill up this fair value gap. Then somewhere around this fair value gap, around one point thirteen eight hundred. We can see um, the the bearish pressure coming into the market again. Then thereby coming back lower to clear this liquidity so now let's look at how our uh, market fed on friday and yesterday so you can see on friday we saw the market pushing higher 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 never gave any kind of a good entry to the buy side it just started pushing higher after it took out previous this low so now yesterday i anticipated the market to come back to this other block here yeah, this was how i picked up this other block so the market came back into this region and you see it respected it nicely and pushed higher. So today now, I anticipated this market to do what? Clear up all this liquidity and run down into this level 1.13020. 1. 1. So I was expecting the market to come back to 1.13020 here. Yeah. I think I picked up this around 55 minutes time frame. So you see, um, this is it. So uh, this was just a six pip stop loss. Pip six, pip six pip stop loss. Yeah, six pip stop loss. So you guys could see the market just got to that region and did not pick my entry. So you can see 
the market did not pick my interest. So I'll be waiting patiently to see if this is just 1.3 pip miss. So I'll be waiting patiently to see if market can break structure to dust and probably retrace to give me an entry. So um, that is it for Euro USD. So I'm anticipating Euro USD to push higher. So I'm looking at Euro USD coming back. So let's go to. So we want to buy Euro USD from this region back to this um, level. So that's basically what I'm looking at for Euro USD. So I want to see Euro USD going back to around 1.13800, just like I've said earlier. So that's it for um, Euro USD. So let's look at um, let's look at gold. Okay. So here on gold, so just like I've always said to you guys, so I'm expecting goods to come back to this region. Let's go to daily time frame. I'm looking at a scenario whereby goods should trade into this region. Looking at this scenario where I go should trade into this region. So looking at one hour time frame here. So I was actually expecting goods to to kind of push lower. I wanted to see goods push lower, fill up this um, level here, then probably trading into this. I think I got this from 15 minutes here. So I wanted to see goods pushing lower. I wanted to see goods pushing lower. Just see good pushing lower, something around this region then. This was where I was looking to take some kind of buy entry to clear up this liquidity resting here. So currently, as you can see, gold is just more like consolidating. So I don't have anything to do here on gold. So but if gold could actually come to this region, I'm going to be buying here and having my stop loss below here on this region. That's about 25 pips. Yeah, it's big, but you know, it's commodity. So this is basically what I'm looking out for on gold here. So I'm looking at a scenario whereby I can see this coming back to this region. So basically I was expecting gold to do this all throughout the um, Asian, um, during the Asian uh, um, uh, time. So I was expecting this to happen at midnight. So but unfortunately we see the market is just in kind of consolidating. So I don't know. So let's see if it can actually come to that level during a um, New York section. If it does not, then I don't have any other setup aside this on gold. So this is actually what I'm looking out for on gold. So uh, basically, this is uh, actually what I'm looking out for on the market today. So I don't know if you have any question, you can feel free to unmute and ask your question. So you guys could see um, DXY has already rejected on our zone. So uh, I think Euro US has missed my entry by some people. So you guys see, uh, my entry has been missed by some people. So, but I think this is still good opportunity to buy. This has engulfed, so it's this is good opportunity to buy now. Yeah, it's good opportunity to buy. So you can actually go on a buy and probably have your stop loss below um, the previous low, which is 15 pips now. So instead of we having a 6 pips stop loss now, we are having a 15 pips stop loss. So you all can actually buy. So if anyone has any question, you or she should kindly unmute yourself and feel free to ask. Are you guys with me? Yes, we are with you. Good morning, sir. Okay, good morning. Okay, good morning. Um, my question is, uh, what is like the correlation among DSY with good? Like, what is the, do they correlate? The way they correlate with um, Euro USD and GPP USD. Good, 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 good is uh, good is uh, good is uh, Can you mute yourself, please? Can you mute yourself, please? Okay. Good is somehow uh, technical. It's 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 a bit fundamental. It's a bit fundamental. It's a bit fundamental because. Uh, Gold is a safe haven currency and dollar index. Dollar is also a safe haven currency. So that's why I say it's a bit technical, it's a bit fundamental. Both are uh, safe haven currency. People want to save, people want to keep their money in dollar because they feel dollar is very stable. And when dollar have issues, people want to keep their money in gold because they feel gold is stable. So sometimes you can. Hello? 
Hello. 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 Can you hear me? This is what you say now. I don't know. Come on, go. We'll go to another no class. Sorry, can you guys hear me? Yes, you can hear me. So, so now. So, so now. Please, can you move? So now, this, the, you, you can see a scenario whereby a uh, dollar index will be pushing higher, whereby gold will also be pushing higher. So it's fundamental. So you just need to. Yeah, so yes, yes. I do see scenarios like that. So I would be like, uh, what was happening? Yeah, I know. So it's fundamental. You need to understand your fundamental, how to trade good. So if you notice now, you see that I'm anticipating dollar index to sell off. And I'm not saying buy good. Did you observe that? Yes, I observed that. Good. So that's just it. So it's 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 kind of fundamental. I've I've come across scenarios like that. Even last week it happened. The line this was kind of pushing lower and I was selling good and good was selling. So it occurs. So it's fundamental, you need to understand. So but the, the, the tips the tips of the iceberg is that you should just know that um for the fact that um, the inflation rate keep on um uh, being this thing increasing on the US dollar interest, dollars keep on pushing higher since then. So not until Wednesday, if the if the if the if the if the Fed could be able to uh, maintain the monetary policy, or rather, if they fix up the monetary policy, that is thereby hacking the interest rate the way they have been um, uh, um, saying. So that is the only thing that might make good to drop.